One of the most amazing things I love about this hobby is the ability to create incredible worlds on the tabletop. The more immersive, the better. If I'm going to escape into this world for a few hours, I want to fool my lizard brain into believing it exists. Miniature games offer a tactility that video games just can't touch, so why not go the extra mile? One of the best ways to do this is to include some flora into your terrain setup. Unfortunately, good kits for trees are few and far between. Luckily, Archon Studios has one of the best kits around when it comes to trees. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Richard here from Crash Course Hobbies, and today we're talking about trees. So let's dive into Archon's Dungeons & Lasers Trees Pack. Now I've mentioned before that I love Archon Studios terrain. It's by far the best bang for your buck plastic on the market. And I wanna make it abundantly clear that I say this freely, I was not paid, nor do I have any kind of affiliate account with them, but just take a look at this box. You can grab this 10 pack of trees on their web store for 60 bucks. That's the same price you would get for three trees of a similar size and quality from GW. Both are made of high impact polystyrene and are incredibly sculpted. It's seriously a mountain of plastic. In this set, you get 10 trees, three sets of three and a bonus clear ice style tree. You get three tall pine tree looking trees that would be great for your traditional forests, three barren twisted trees which would be great for deserts, plague ridden swamps, or desolate post-apocalyptic wastelands, and three lush leafy fantastic looking trees. And of course that one big clear tree which would make for an awesome ice tree or magic glowing spirit tree. Really there's so many creative uses for this one. Now not only do these trees look great, but they are massive. Look at the size of these trees next to a space marine. This is how you dress a table. This is one of those train kits where picking up multiple really is a no brainer. You even get a few options on how you assemble them so you can create some variety in your setup. And I really like how the branches on these are modular so they fit into any part of the trunk, allowing you to make sure that they don't all turn out too samey. With how packed with texture these sculpts are, I wanted to try painting these trees primarily with a slap chop method using Army Painter Speed Paint. Not only is this method going to be fast, but it allows for some really nice blending and will accentuate all the bark and leaves with minimal effort so I can get these trees on the table fast. I'll admit that this project is something that I've really been excited to work on, and so I tore into this box as soon as I received it and got to work. Because of that, there is a little bit of footage missing here, but we will fill in the blanks as we go. There's something so satisfying about the instant gratification of a quick terrain project. I think it's really important to kind of mix things up. So if you've been working on an army for a long time, sometimes just tackling a quick terrain project like this can make all the difference in mentally resetting you, giving you a bit of a palette cleanser. And even if it's just painting with a different color or, or going from painting, you know, tiny models to really big terrain, something that you can just slap paint on easily and not hyper focus on. Uh, can make all the difference, especially when you've been painting the same army for a long period of time or something like that. So I highly encourage you to find something and just mix it up a little bit. I started out by hitting all these trees with a flat black Rust-Oleum primer and then hit them with a zenithal of white ink from above, which is pretty standard prep for any slap chopping. Now, while I wanted to paint these in a very fantastical way, I still wanted to get a nice trunk color. And to make my life easier and to do this quickly, I grabbed a big brush and put a couple extra drops of water into the palette for the speed paint to help them flow a little bit easier and lighten up the color. I would recommend being very careful in this step as any splashing of the speed paint in places that you don't want it will likely show through the brighter colors that you use on the leaves. I would recommend wearing some gloves here as well as pigment heavy inks, contrast or speed paints can stain your skin pretty easily and it can be kind of hard to wash off. Also, it makes it easier to keep the piece clean while you're painting just because you don't have fingerprints and things getting all over it. While these were drying, I moved on to the twisted trees and decided to paint them in a more sickly green brown. This is one of the more straightforward ones here because there's not a lot of extra details. It's just branches and trunks. Uh, so I just washed it all over in speed paint. Moving back to my fantasy trees, I really wanted these to pop out on the table. So I decided to go bold and wet blend some bright pink and teal, which also created a nice transitional purple color in between the two. The speed paints are really great for this kind of wet blending and made for a really striking leaves with very little effort.
And lastly, we just did a quick little dry brush with ivory all over the leaves just to help them pop out a little bit more and give them that sort of frosted look. Anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you found it interesting. I definitely recommend stuff from Archon Studios. If you haven't checked out some of their terrain kits, whether it's the Rampart stuff or the Dungeons and Lasers, uh, I highly recommend you check it out. They make really, really good quality stuff. So if you're kind of sick of paying GW prices and you just want to get some really good quality uh, plastic that doesn't feel much different than the stuff that GW makes, but at a much more wallet-friendly price, that's a good way that I can steer you guys. Again, I don't have any skin in this particular game aside from them sending me uh, you know, a, a review stock every once in a while, but you know, I've been doing this for a long time. My integrity is not for sale. My track record shows that. I just want to steer you guys in the right direction. Um, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can subscribe to this channel. You know, all the great stuff you do to support your favorite creators, you can do here as well. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be kind out there. Support the hobby as best you can. Support your local game shops when you can. And as always, I will see you in the next one.